Hello and welcome back to the third section of Articulate Storyline Training Series. In the previous video, we have seen choosing navigation controls and player features for individual slides. In this video, we will learn about slide layers in detail. So let's begin by understanding what layers are in Storyline. Generally, when you create a new layer in Storyline, a base layer is created by default and this base layer will allow you to insert objects like shapes, text, pictures, audio, etc. This base layer has its own timeline where you can see all the objects placed in it. It also has its own trigger panel as well. Base layer is good enough when you want to create a simple slide like this with some text, pictures and animations. But as you progress with the e-learning development, you will reach a point where you need to keep the learners engaged by adding complex interactions to the course. Let's take a look at this slide for instance. This is an interactive slide where learners are supposed to click on each tab. It could be difficult to create such interactions using just the base layer but can be easily achieved using the slide layers along with the base layers. Currently when I click a tab, it stays open for the rest of the interaction even after I click the next tab. Instead, I want each tab to close once another tab is opened. So let's go back to the slide and make some adjustment to the layer properties. Here is the slide layer property and we can enable the option hide other each layer also has its own properties section. You can access these layers properties by selecting a layer and then clicking on this settings icon. You can also right click on a layer and select properties. We will learn more about these layer properties in the coming lectures. In the next video we will see how to add, duplicate and delete these slide layers.